It's a tie ball game as we fire up the second quarter. Throwing to start the drive. Here's QB2. Throws left. It's complete. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. So the comments keep coming in now on my channel. And yes, I did see Sammy Hawk's reaction to the Clay Rainey party invite. For those who haven't, here's what Hawk said. You can delete the post, but screenshots live forever. So there you have it. Everyone from playmakers to politicians take heed. The new era of bulletin board material is here. Down the middle of the field, it's complete. Touchdown! Yet another hit for his growing highlight reel. Myers now to add the extra point. And he puts it through. The lead now, 14 to 3. Following the touchdown, the Knights are ready to kick it away. Fielded at the 18. And he's taken down at the 33. Here come the Brush Hogs to start the drive. And you know, signal caller Gavin Dixon, he's no stranger to pressure. He led the way to victory in a couple nail biters earlier this season. Taken down as he makes the grab. Give him nine there on that completion. Second down on the way. Shotgun look. On second down, he'll drop back. Fires the ball and it's complete. And he moves the chains first down. Gavin Dixon, the field general of this Brush Hogs team and someone who comes from a family with deep ties to Nebraska football. Dad Clyde played running back for the Huskers, as did his older brother Tommy. Mom Olivia was a star on the Huskers track team, so I'm not so sure Gavin has ever even considered going anywhere else. On second down, back to pass. And he can't make the connection. It's incomplete. I mentioned earlier Gavin's ties to Nebraska football. Look, he's obviously been asked about it since, I think, the eighth grade. And to his credit, he's never been shy about saying, yeah, I mean, if given the opportunity, who wouldn't want to be a Husker? So it's not a done deal till he signs that letter of intent, but there's a very good chance we'll see this young man in Lincoln someday. The Brush Hogs lined up, ready to punt it away. And he gives it the boot. And as this ball heads out of bounds, it's looking like these kids will begin their drive with favorable field position. So the Knights are lined up now. And, you know, here's my plan if I'm Coach Fetu. Put the ball in the hands of QB2 and let him work his magic on this drive. And he's taken down inside the 30. A 29-yard gain and a big-time play. They go play action. Goes to his left. It's complete. He makes the connection for the first and just five yards now to the end zone. Lined up in the backfield, there's Sammy Hawk. Scans the field. It's caught! Touchdown, Knights! Davion Patton, his second touchdown catch of the game. Now to tack on another point. And they add yet another point, one of many in this matchup. They're up big right now. After giving up the touchdown, the Brush Hogs are back to receive. 
A short kick he fields with the 20. Here come the Brush Hogs to start the drive. And with this kind of deficit, Gavin Dixon and his playmakers will need to come up with something big on this drive. On first down, he'll drop back. Oh, change of plans, he touched the ball. And they'll make the stop after a solid gain on the play. You know, another thing about Nebraska football, we got a couple of former Cornhuskers in the house here today. Levante David and Rex Burkhead are here to take in this championship game. Tip of the cap to my pal Reggie for the heads up on that. And he's brought down at the 28-yard line. That's the snap. Absolutely nowhere to go, and he eats that sack. And he sends it away. Here's Washington, and it's a positive return, but he never quite found any daylight along the way. Opening play of this drive for the Knights. Remarkable consistency so far. They've scored on every possession to this point of the game. Push him back. Push him back. Throwing to start the drive. Here's QB2. Shows off the up. He's got it. And he's brought down at the 19. A 37-yard gain. And that's a first down and then some. Now from the red zone, it's QB2. Oh, but he can't connect. Would have been six if not for the great defensive play. Still 10 yards to go after that incompletion on first. Still looking to throw, it's QB2. Fires down the middle and it's complete. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Knights! QB2, his fourth scoring throw of this matchup. Here's Myers now for the extra point. He gets it to go. The tally now, 28 to three. Falling further behind on the scoreboard. Here comes the kick. Fielded at the 18. And he's down at the 35. try before the break and that deep ball is incomplete tried to go long on first down but it only results in a long walk back to the home